we are back and Ohio State is now done with their non-conference play. They go 3-0 as projected. We'll get a little bit more into the details as this video goes along. And this video is going to be mostly about what I found to be encouraging and maybe some of my concerns that I still have the team heading into conference play and hopefully beyond. Uh, so the offense is definitely the stronger of the two units between offense and defense, at least to me, watching the uh, first three games and how they've unfolded. The offense, I believe, has gotten better week to week, although that might just be a, uh, a process of playing Notre Dame and then playing Arkansas State and Toledo, maybe, you know, maybe playing lesser opponents, although Notre Dame hasn't turned out to be that great. We'll get more on them in a minute. But uh, yeah, maybe playing teams like Arkansas State and Toledo really does help things get clicking and get things going where you have that margin for error that you maybe didn't feel that, that you had against Notre Dame. I believe the wide receiver room is absolutely broken. Jackson Smith and Jigba, Julian Fleming, Marvin Harrison and Jr. and Amika Egbuka were huge when the, when the uh, first two guys I mentioned weren't able to play. Cade Stover at the tight end position as well is just a beast. I, I feel like tight ends get a little overlooked in the Ryan Day system. We saw that with Jeremy Ruckert where you know he would get a few touches a game and look impressive when he, do, when he got those touches. He'd have some amazing catches, uh, but he would just go essentially unnoticed for you know drive drives at a time but with Cade Stover I don't feel like that would happen I feel like Cade Stover every time he touches the ball he does something to uh prove that he should get the ball again over some of these top wide receiver guys because he just adds uh that level of nastiness that he has to his game that we've seen over the last few weeks uh that knows he when he gets hit by a defender Cade Stover is gonna do his damnedest to you know drag him for an extra three yards or however many he can so I feel like Cade Stover does give this offense something new at the tight end position that we haven't seen for a few years now. Uh, and despite all of the wide receiving rep weapons that this team has, I do think that the running game can really be the fuel for this offense should that passing game stall out. Uh, Travion Henderson and Mayan Williams is a crazy one-two punch. We saw that against Notre Dame uh, when the offense was sputtering. Uh, Mayan, Mayan Williams, when Trey Henderson wasn't having a, a great game, but Mayan Williams really uh, put that game on his back and led the uh, the drive that really set the game in stone. And Trey Henderson obviously finishing that off. But no matter who you start there, or who I mean, Trayvon Henderson usually starts, but whoever is back there for a drive can you is usually going to be uh, the offense in good hands with those two. Uh, at the running back position and the offensive line is definitely uh, this year it looks like they're a little more there's a little more oomph, oomph to the offensive line this year they look like they're ready to get their business done uh, in the run game especially we'll see when they get some more tougher opponents how they handle uh, other teams pass rush uh, but so far it's looking pretty decent for the offense and the offensive line I do really think that this running game uh, could be featured a little more I just think that the Ryan Day system is more of a pass first and pass maybe a little more often even if the pass isn't working at first they're going to stick with it I, obviously we've seen them pivot to the run game like against Notre Dame if they have to but I do think that this Ryan Day system uh, kind of thinks that if at first you don't succeed in passing try try again until a passing game starts clicking which when we have the wide receivers that you have it's probably not a bad idea uh, but sometimes a passing game just isn't going to work and the running game is going to help you out immensely there. I do like that we saw um, CJ Stroud take more, a little more designed runs. We actually saw him keep a read option. Uh, I think, I believe against Toledo, that was nice. I think if uh, CJ Stroud just takes the yards that the defense might give him on some running plays, on some scrambles, I think that will open up a whole new can of worms for defenses to take. And he really didn't take a lot of those opportunities last year where maybe you can get like, you know, six to 10 yards on a scramble. Uh, that, the, that the defense was giving him that he didn't really take. And so I think if he does that more this year, then this Ohio State offense could be even more versatile. Uh, now let's move on to the defense. Uh, the defense looks better than it did last year. I don't think that this Ohio State defense is the dumpster fire that it was uh, a year ago, but there are still some concerns with uh, the defense. So Ohio State's defense looks great against Notre Dame. And we think, okay, well, the defense is probably fixed now. Uh, but the more we've seen Notre Dame, the more we've learned that Notre Dame's offense is just kind of anemic anyway. Uh, they only got 21 points against Marshall with, in a game that they lost. Uh, they struggled to get any consistent offense going against Cal, and they barely escaped that game. Uh, so it just seems like that Notre Dame might not have actually been that good. 
of an opponent. But, you know, when you have that five next to their name, which we all knew was probably overrated anyway, I just think we didn't know how overrated that five next to their name uh, even was. But in week one, you know, the offense was nervous or whatever. Uh, but the four scoring drives given up against Arkansas State and the three against Toledo uh, wasn't great, especially with the three scoring drives from Toledo uh, being touchdowns, not something you necessarily want to see. And something that, that concerns me a little bit about the Ohio State defense as well is how they've given up points to some of the smaller schools, uh, big playmakers. Uh, I actually thought they did a really good job of limiting uh, Michael Mayer for Notre Dame, but guys like uh, the Champ Flemings for Arkansas State and Daquan Finn for Toledo. They both had uh, pretty big stat games, pretty good big games on the field too if you watch the game uh, against Ohio State. So that's not necessarily a good thing. It might not just, it might just be bad. It might just be uh, some special players on those teams making some special plays, uh, but it's not something that you really want to see. I do think that the linebackers, the linebacking group for this defense has been a plus so far. Uh, Tommy Eichenberg looks like a beast. Uh, the defensive line, could be a little better. Mike Hall, though, has been a bright spot in a couple games. He's had some really nice plays. The secondary might be where things get a little iffy. Uh, guys like Denzel Burke and Josh Proctor maybe not uh, popping off the field as you might want to, but that's something that maybe can change in the uh, later in the season as they get more playing time, used to more reps. And uh, one thing I do like out of this defense is that they are a little more consistent uh, with who they give minutes to. They're not constantly subbing guys in and out, so that's nice. Uh, but overall, if the, the defense, I, I, I just wonder how they handle a team that their entire team is full of guys like a Champ Flemings or guys like Daquan Finn, you know, it, and not just in Big Ten play because honestly, the Big Ten schedule, not a whole lot of teams on paper scare you. Obviously, going to Happy Valley and against Penn State for their crazy night game is always going to be a chore. Uh, Michigan is always going to be a rivalry game that you're nervous about. At least if you're the kind of fan that I am, you're going to be nervous about Michigan no matter what. Uh, Michigan State could give Ohio State some trouble just because it's Ohio State's uh, first road game. And if Michigan can pull it together after their tough loss against Washington, uh, then, that, then that could be a tough game as well. But besides that, you're really trying to project how this Ohio State team will play against the teams like the Georgias, the Alabamas. Uh, you know, I don't believe in Clemson all that much this year, but teams of that stature whether you know you're playing them in the playoffs you're hoping to at least if you're Ohio State you're hoping to you're gonna you're trying to project how they'll play against them and this defense does leave maybe a little bit to be desired but again it is early it's not it's not really possible to gauge just how good or bad they are yet because their level of play has been apparently a bad Notre Dame team and two smaller schools so it's going to be really interesting uh, to see how they respond to Wisconsin this week that that's not a team that I think should give the Buckeyes any troubles especially at home uh, but we'll see we'll see how the season continues to shape out so far it's kind of been as expected where you get uh, a win against Notre Dame maybe not as pretty as you would like it to be but a win nonetheless uh, at home and then you uh, take care of business in dominant fashion against Arkansas State and Toledo but there are some things that pop up during those games where it's a little concerning and it's not just the defense too there are stretches where the offense had you know they take some three and outs against uh, schools that you probably think they shouldn't be doing that against and some offensive inconsistencies uh, but hopefully as the season goes on the team can kind of gel together get some things clicking right and hopefully that, that this leads to another Big Ten championship appearance and back in the playoff picture where Ohio State usually belongs thank you all for watching the video if you liked it please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you'd like to see more like it let me know what you think about the Ohio State season down in the comments below. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you at the next one.